Well, breaking news from ESPN as I'm watching Sunday Night Baseball as the Yankees are <laughs> clubbing the Red Sox 6 nothing. Like, holy moly, like, each game this series has been one-sided. Like, man, so if you like offensive baseball, it's the series for you. I'm not sure how that bows well for, you know, the overall rivalry. Had something, but the mind just hit a roadblock, so I'm going to get off that train. But, uh, yeah, uh, not shaping up to be the classic, you know, Yankee-Red Sox rivalry series I thought it'd be. I thought it'd be closer than this, you know, but yeah, it's only midseason, so we'll see how it comes down the stretch. Is it safe to say both teams are going to make the playoffs? I don't see... Any of these, I don't see these two, like, blowing a tire and, you know, just falling off the rail because they are just stacked. Anyway, the breaking news part, LeBron James is going west. The decision, too, has been made. And as everyone expected, LeBron is now a Laker. And, yeah, that's exactly how I feel about it. whoop de doo <laughs> We all saw it coming. Everybody kept saying it. Okay, he's now a Laker. And I'll bet every other person in Cleveland feels the same way. Like, meh. We knew it was coming. We saw it coming. Knew it was going to happen. What do they have to keep him in Cleveland? Besides, it's near his home. So, I guess there goes the East. Cleveland, remember what it was like when LeBron went to Miami for four years? Guess what the next four years are going to be like. <clears throat> so, let's see. Who takes over the, the, cent, the Central now that LeBron's gone? I want to say Milwaukee. I'm saying Milwaukee. Maybe Indiana. Uh, I, I don't know what the hell the Bulls have, uh, and the Pistons, I, I don't know. Not too familiar with either of them. So, I'm just going to say Milwaukee because of the Greek freak. LeBron in L.A. Immediately, all I can think of is LeBron versus LeVar. That's what I'm waiting for. For the media, you know... Put your bib on because this is going to be a feeding frenzy. LeBron going L.A. What? Immediately. That's all I can think of. How soon does LeVar Ball try to intimidate LeBron or get in his face or, or you know, does LeBron set him straight? You know, let LeVar know that I'm the king of basketball here, not you. You know, you're just some pompous blowhard who owns a shoe store and won't let his sons live their own lives. Also, what does it do for... Lonzo. <laughs> I forgot his name for a bit. Lonzo Ball. Oh, oh, just a minute. Andrew Knapp hits walk-off home run in bottom of the 13th. The Phillies take the series over the Nationals. Yeah! Woo! I already knew that. I heard the call on the radio after dropping off my gram. But still, Phillies take three out of four against them stinking Nats. And even though the Braves are in first place, I'm still happy. I shouldn't be. I should hate the Braves, but hey, and let, or, uh, Washington's got some competition. After everybody just wanted to crown the Nats again, say they're going to run away with the East. Oh, here come the young Braves and Phillies ahead of schedule. So at least the NL East race is interesting this year. But the American League is just stacked. Last I looked, there's like four ball clubs over 50-plus wins. 
I don't see a National League team winning the World Series this year. Just not going to happen. If it does happen, I'll be happy. I'll glad eat my words, but... I mean, Boston, the Yanks, Houston. I believe Houston's over the 51 mark. And Seattle. Now, the Mariners, I, they've been making noise the last few years. You know, they kind of start out competitive at the beginning of the season, but just kind of waver off. So we'll see what happens to them down the stretch. So, yeah. Just wanted to give my thoughts about LeBron now with the Lakers. It, it's interesting, to say the least. I mean, it was going to be interesting no matter where he went because he's LeBron. He's the king. But do I think the Lakers were the best fit for him? I don't know. I just feel like he gave into peer pressure. I really wanted him to stay in the East to keep things balanced, but, you know, I have been listening to all the, the sports talks pros, if that's the thing, sports talk pros, and, you know, LeBron had a lot of connections to L.A., so it made sense. But, hey, if I'm Luke Wallen, I'm probably going... Yay, kind of makes my job easier, but at the same time, I could be out of a job soon. <laughs> As LeBron, what am I going to tell the king, right? <laughs> if I'm Lonzo Ball, I'm stacked because I'm stoked because I get to learn from one of the greatest of all time. Now, that can only help but boost his game. And other than that, I'm not sure what else the Lakers have. I think they may have had an outstanding rookie, but that's as far in depth as I'm getting. When it comes to basketball, like pro and college, I just look for the name that dominates the headline. I'm simple. <laughs> Very simple. Just ask everybody I know. They'll tell you I'm a simpleton. Oh, base hit. That's in the right field. And the Yankees have a base runner on with two out. Number 41. Who's number 41 for the Yanks? I don't know. They don't have the names on the back of their jerseys. How the heck am I supposed to know? Oh, is David Price pitching for the Red Sox? Pfft. Oh, no wonder the Yanks are doing so well tonight. Seriously, Boston, what the hell did you think David Price was going to do? Come on. I mean, if I'm if I'm if I work in the Red Sox office and I'm seeing this by David Price and I think of all the money you just wasted on him, here's the proverbial gun, aiming at my foot. <laughs> so yeah. Ooh, Dodgers came back and beat the Rockies. Yes. Kemp, go ahead, home run. Hey, the Pirates won. Cool. The only thing that didn't make this night completely perfect, the Cutters didn't win. Can't blame the bullpen this time. They were only they lost four to one. Or can we? I didn't watch the game. I didn't listen to the game, so. I didn't look at any stats. All I know is they lost. That's three in a row, and now they're under five freaking hundred. But hey, it's all, you know, that's with any sport. You get into a funk, it's how do they battle back. Trying to think if there's anything else I'm looking forward to as LeBron as a Laker. I wonder how soon LeBron Laker jerseys are going to be sold out all over LA and anywhere else in the US and maybe the world. 
LeBron versus the Warriors. Everybody's going to be penciling that in. And I guess the rest of the West. Harden and the Rockets. Paul George and the Thunder. Or is Chris Paul with the Thunder? For some reason, I'm getting them mixed up. Chris Paul and Paul George. You got CP and PG. And then you got H rated R. Then you got H rated hard for hard in. But yeah, sound like a broken record now. I can't wait to see if LeVar Ball goes after LeBron. It's it's got to happen. I don't know how it doesn't happen. Luis Severino pitching for the Yankees. Again, no wonder the Yankees are doing so well. Isn't this the stud that threw like, what was it, 10 or 12, 100 mile per hour pitches against the Phillies? Are you kidding me? How the hell is he not straining his arm for the rest of the year? So yeah. So what happens to the East now with LeBron gone? Celtics are on the rise. My Sixers are on the rise. The Bucks, Raptors. That's about it. Wizards are kind of there. Oh, yeah. Sixers are in trade talks now with Kawhi Leonard. But they told the Spurs that Embiid, Simmons, and Fultz are off limits. So, I don't know, like, Reddick? Still... Wouldn't that be something if, you know, someone could still get Kawhi to come to the East? Hopefully not Boston. So if that happens, does that kind of make everyone think twice about LeBron turning the Lakers around on his own with no real help out there? Well, I just want to share my thoughts on all that, so... The 2018-19 NBA season is definitely going to be interesting, to say the least. Peace out.